in recent weeks, we've heard a lot about the impact of online shopping on Aussie retailers. Now one of the country's biggest retailers has announced plans for an offshore website to cash in on demand. Harvey Norman is planning to sell products out of China so Australian customers can avoid paying GST. Maya also plans on building a website based in China to follow to allow customers to shop, shop GST free as well. Meantime, internet giant Google is going to start up an online bookstore to challenge Amazon. Well, we invited Jerry Harvey to come on Sunrise. He declined. Russell Kogan, though, has built his business empire online. He joins us now. Russell, hi. Good morning. Um, now, why are so many Aussie retailers jumping on the online bandwagon? Well, it's due to customer demand. When someone buys from a big online store like Kogan.com.au or any other store, they're getting better prices, better value, better convenience, and, you know, there's just heaps of advantages to doing it, and shoppers are getting smarter and smarter and smarter. They're Googling more purchases. They can find the best deal anywhere okay. very quickly. Is it all about avoiding GST? That gives no, you, for instance, gives you a 10% advantage. At Kogan, every one of our products has GST. Uh, you know, Jerry, even, even the ones under a thousand. Yeah, yeah. $1, every all, all our stuff sent out of Melbourne. All our products have GST on them. Uh, Jerry's trying to divert, you know, the real issue with his business and the inefficiencies with it, and create a bit of public unrest. So, uh, GST's got GST's 10%. We're talking yep. savings of 50% or more, and you know, so. Yep. The, the issue is much greater than that. OK, well, why do they set up overseas to, to oh, well, avoid GST? Because it is a bit of a rort, isn't it? It's, yeah, oh, mate, it just, sort of puts Australian retailers huh? at a disadvantage, the small business. No, but what's happening here is Harvey Norman and Maya, they're full of it. They're not going to set up overseas. The shipping cost of sending out of China, a 32-inch TV costs about 500 bucks. It costs over $500 to send one individual TV to Australia. So they're, they're not going to do it. They're trying to create a bit of public unrest and change laws and regulations and increase taxes and things like that. And it's really sad when you're seeing businessmen and entrepreneurs trying to, you know, increase taxes and regulations in order to protect them in the marketplace. So uh, they're not going to do this. online retail Telling though costing Australian jobs? If people no, buy not. online away from the little guy down it's, the street no, who's it's, hiring it's, locals. It's creating jobs. When someone buys from a big store like Kogan or any other big online retailer, we're causing the employment of thousands of people across the country every day to deliver our products to yeah. make the business happen. So not a chance. It's creating jobs. And um, you know, the industry's yeah. changing and it's creating new sorts of jobs. It's a huge new trend. Thanks for joining us. Definitely. Thanks, Koshi. Thank you.